Hello everybody. The Warriors were down double digits when they got a huge spark off the bench from Moses Moody. Energetic defense and hustle. So the real action is this pin down for a shooter, but two things mess up the timing of this play. First of all, Moses Moody getting right in Kispert's face and body. Number two, Andrew Wiggins just refuses to let his man take the screen. Finally, the man gets free, but it's knocked off the timing, so Corey Kispert picks up his dribble and completely telegraphs this pass, which gives Moses Moody time to jump in the passing lane. Moody reaches up with his long arms and just haikus this out of the air. Great job to track that ball down. Here's Moses Moody defending Bradley Beal voluntarily coughs up the ball to Dante DiVincenzo, manages to get the ball immediately stripped. Moody finds himself right under the basket. It's all Warriors here. What are the chances the ball's just going to go directly to Bradley Beal? Pretty low, but as it turns out, it's like a remote-controlled drone. This ball goes straight towards Beal, and luckily Moses Moody had come over to box him out, and Moody picks up this rebound. So then Moody immediately kicks the ball up court to Ty Jerome. Ty Jerome is going to feed Dante DiVincenzo, who throws up a optimistic three, but don't take your eyes off Moses Moody. He never stops running hard, and Moody goes right on up and fights Porzingis for this rebound and turns it to a 50-50. The ball just pops free straight to Jerome, who says, oh, look what I found. Clay starts a quick pick and roll on the wing. Andrew Wiggins is still catching up to the play, so Clay gets met by two wizards. Moody is going to see that Kevon Looney in the post, so he immediately sets himself up so Clay has a release and then flow directly into a classic split cut. Looney will post up here, and Moody, no hesitation on the entry pass, cross screen for Clay. He gets all of this defender here, but Clay will spring free, and that's a pretty legal looking screen too. So Moody was where he was supposed to be, and he flowed this right into a great offensive option. Clay's gonna miss this three. Good shot. Come on, Looney feels like he has territorial rights to every rebound in his zip code, and he might be right and counterattacks on the offensive rebound. No one could blame him if he just fired up a three at this point. That's definitely what Clay or Poole would do, but instead, Morris closes out to the side. Moody get into the paint. This little play shows some growth. Moody had a tendency to drive, and then when he hit a body, he'd immediately reverse pivot and just try to get rid of the ball. And here he says, I'm just gonna go hard and try to get through the seam and maybe draw a foul, and he gets the foul. Nice play. Moody, in all the quiet ways, is showing a lot more comfort in the motion system. Here he sees Clay is cutting across, and so Moody automatically pins in for him. Clay is contained, so what now? Clay feeds Moody, and then Moody quickly flows this into another post split. Clay gives him a hint by pointing, feed the ball to Kavan, and now Moody knows this is automatically post split cross screen for clay coming this way this defender is getting ready to switch this defender is shading clay to make it harder to use the screen so clay says i'll just cut back door on you that is a really nice pass from kavan looney and clay gets one of his rare dunks i love this play from moody i don't think he got a single box score stat on this pick and roll for beal since he's in the middle of the sideline the warriors don't mind trapping him Look at the anticipation from Moody. He's shaded very far off of his man in the corner. He's anticipating what if the screener rolls to the basket. Cute little bounce pass and Moody rotates right in his face, right on time. Beautiful stuff. Ty Jerome has to zone up these two guys on the weak side. The only way to defend this is to X out. Ty Jerome has to go defend the man on the wing and Moody has to go all the way across the court to cover the man in the corner. Before Ty Jerome even gets there, Moody is busting his butt to get all the way back to the corner, and that all-out hustle gets him there on time. Morris does put up a shot, but I really don't think this was a comfortable one with Moody getting up in his face and kind of curving his body and space time trying not to foul. This attention to detail adds up over time. Let's wrap up with a quick celebration audit on this Dante DiVincenzo 3. Ty Jerome getting up prematurely. Steph Curry getting up prematurely. These two guys are leading the charge on the premature celebration. Steph has got two little 
okay threes here. And he's trying to up the degree of difficulty by delicately flicking them as the ball goes to the basket. Flick. Steph has been sidelined for a while, so he's due to be rusty. That ball is not in the basket yet, but he's a Hall of Famer. He flows this straight into his delicate magic. Twiddly fingers. In the foreground, our favorite space cadet, Clay Thompson, is so entranced by the three that he just starts wandering and looks like he's going to grab the ball. <laughs> you can see the ref pulling Clay back. I don't know what Clay was thinking. Ty Jerome with his little old man arthritis shimmy. These hips don't lie, but they do ache a little bit on rainy days. 